now I guess I just uh, jump on top of that thing. Giant pulleys or whatever, um, giant cranks. But uh, they could have just had the levers like slide out from a wall or something, or even just had the door open right up when I put all the things in the right position. Seems a little bit unnecessary. Walking on the, the crank, nice. I like these geometries on the wall. They, they look like uh, crop circles, actually. What if that was intentional? Nah, probably not. They probably uh, delve into alien mythology in this. It's probably strictly just vampires and creepy stuff. Uh, pretty fancy down here. Got some nice old. What is this? how this game started. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I'm actually a big fan of this kind of storytelling in games where you have kind of like a, a walking, uh, you know, diorama. Like, you actually progress and, and view more of a story unfolding as, as you uh, move through a level. Um, kind of similar to um, the ending of Bioshock Infinite. You know, I, I like that, uh, you know, just kind of lightly interactive. This must be one of Kane's deceptions. I don't know why Raziel finds it so hard to believe, like, these 
this is like the caverns of time. This is just where they uh, replay time and stuff. Like, hey, showing me what happened. That's that's completely believable. But no, a, a segment like this is something that they could easily accomplish just through a cinematic. You know, you see Raziel walking into these corridors and then uh, um, all these visions play out and like montage kind of thing. But by giving you control over it, it's actually a nice little step. It's a little bit more impressive for me. My mind reels with conflict. Does Cain await me moments from now? or in some century yet to come. I do feel like their big reveal, if that's what this is supposed to be, is falling a bit flat. It's like, oh my god, at some point in the future, I'm going to fight Cain! Well, yeah, that, that was uh, pretty much set up from the very get-go. Now it's actually getting interesting, now that we're killing, uh, that cool chick that's been helping us out along the end. That is pretty obvious at this point. It's kind of funny when you see those uh, pre-rendered videos, you have the FMVs, um, and then it, it's a pretty stark contrast to uh, the actual rendered game. Now that we're playing with all these enhancements, you know, much higher resolution, better high-res textures. Now this place is quite fancy. I guess that's it for all the uh, portals of time. Oh, portal. Speaking of. Yeah, I really like the zone, the, you know, polished granite and stuff. It's pretty neat. Oh, and there's. That's an easy one to remember, because this is, uh, like, the time dungeon. Yeah, okay. I think that was the last portal, actually. So we must be, like, really close to the end now. Because I remember flipping through the uh, portal gates early on, and uh, that was, like, the, the last one before we set. Let's do it, Kane. What you got? Oh. Yep, here we go. All right. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, 
Did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it trouble you when you ordered me into the abyss? No. I had faith in you. In your ability to hate. In your self-righteous indignation. Lies. You cannot have foreseen all of this. Eternity is relentless, Raziel. When I first stole into this chamber centuries ago, I did not fathom the true power of knowledge. To know the future, Raziel. To see its paths and streams tracing out into the infinite. As a man, I could never have contained such forbidden truths. But each of us is so much more than we once were. Gazing out across the plains of possibility, do you not feel, with all your soul, how we have become like gods? And as such, are we not indivisible? As long as a single one of us stands, we are legion. And that is why, when I must sacrifice my children to the void, I can do so with a clear heart. Very